Hi, I'm Cassie Kozrakov, former Chief Decision Scientist at Google and now CEO at a stealth AI company, which I'm very excited to tell you guys about. But right now I am here, um, not just to prove my identity, but uh, what it is very good for is getting me into IBM Think24. I have been talking a lot about AI control systems. I've even written this glossary with 57 different terms related to various things in that direction because it is really, really important for us to have the kinds of tools that allow us to steer complex technology. Some of the discussions online are about, you know, is AI so smart that it's gonna outsmart us? Maybe the counter argument might be like, well, it's, it's not that smart, don't worry about it. I think what we should spend our time thinking about is are we smart enough? And are we smart enough because we've built the tools that allow us to steer complex technology responsibly? I'm really excited to see some of the things going on here at IBM's conference since they're a proven leader in how to do this. The governance tools in Watson X, super exciting. And then there is Concert, incredible and non-technical user-friendly view of what's actually going on in your system. So it's like a, a nerve center, if you will. Um, I could talk about it or we can actually go and see it. All right, so let's go. All right, what are we thinking about today? <laughs> How to get caffeinated. I'll promote coffee anytime. The new one that everyone's really excited about is IBM Concert. Simplifying, optimizing, managing, visualizing your operations all in one place. So uh, there are views for the technical user, the non-technical user. And what are we trying to get here is a clear view of what's actually going on. What models have you got? How are they all connected? This is an important step in managing complex technology. Golf, anyone? I am very much an AI optimist. I don't think we should worry about whether it's smarter than us. We don't even know what smarter is, so what are we talking about? What we should worry about is, are we able to correctly steer, design, harness complex technology? And so then what I want to know is, what tools are we building? Because the better our tools, the better we are, the more we can do. And so let's find what IBM is doing with creating those awesome tools. So here I am in front of the Watson X AI governance booth. So that's right uh, there. And uh, you can see it's pretty popular. Lots of people are enjoying that demo. And what I really like about the approach that IBM is taking, and you know, this has to be the way the world moves, is to one, make it clear and readable to the non-technical expert, and two, really try to be comprehensive about representing all those new regulations that are coming through. Because the world is getting more complicated, technology regulation is getting more complicated, governance is getting more complicated, and so what we need is tools that allow us to simplify all that. Just imagine trying from scratch to stay on top of all those things. Um, I wouldn't want to imagine that. This is how we make sure that we're able to build technology that is compliant, that stays up to date, and without having to individually go and look up and collect all those rules ourselves. It's really, really nice to have a product that aims to be this comprehensible and this friendly to different people in the organization. Okay, so shall we go have a look? We run through a suit in this example here. You know, is, it, is this system planned to be... Last but not least, here is Watson X releasing their foundation models. This is IBM Granite. It is really performant. Um, sometimes the biggest model isn't the best model. So smaller model, really performant, and they've done a lot of the work to scrub out undesirable content. And then they made it open source, which is really awesome to hear, because that means that all of you can build on top of it. There's a lot of love for open source at this conference, and I appreciate that very much. You can see a lot of complex technology around here, but what really warms my heart is that there are a lot of systems here that are clear steps in the direction of not just building more, 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 more technological capabilities, but also building capabilities for us to better manage the technology that we have. I love the move with IBM Concert, simplifying and optimizing your operations in a way that democratizes this for the perhaps less technical people in your organization, while also serving the most technical. Having a view and understanding what's actually going on and how to do it well and what's connected with what is really important. 
And so it's tools like this that warm my heart. Yes, it's important to build incredible, big capabilities, but it's also important to build them in such a way that we're able to lead, manage, and steer them responsibly. We want both. We want all that horsepower. We want the steering wheel too. And I, I love seeing that philosophy in play here at IBM Think 24.